back to my channel. I decided to keep on the long sleeves so you guys can't see my Wendy Williams, my fat arm fat or whatever. Today, I will be eating oh, Sam's Club pizza with the courtesy of Papa John's garlic butter spread. And I have Pierre another fancy water, but this is a sparkling water. It's only for the rich people. I think it's called Pierre or something like that. I don't know. I don't drink sparkling water, but since I'm eating pizza, I'm gonna drink it because cheese makes me bloat. I'm already over bloated. I told you guys I am fat. I'm trying to lose weight, but I'm trying to eat all this bad stuff and get it out the way. So I can start losing weight so y'all can start seeing how small I am in real life. Cause right now I'm just big bony. Anyways, this video is gonna be a part two of Atlanta. It's gonna get more into details. And then I think it was gonna be a three part video, but I think it's only gonna be like a two part video. Cause I already done one part and I was like, I need to go back and I need to let you guys know the details of what happened to me in the city of Atlanta. I'm gonna say grace because I forgot last time and then we're gonna get it in. Thank you, God, thank you for the tour, thank you for this day, thank you for waking me up this morning, thank you for my family and friends, love, please watch over me, take care of me. Have a good rest of the day and bless this food in Jesus' name. I pray, amen. Amen. My sauce is not. Guys, just give me 10 seconds. I need to warm up my little dipping sauce. Now the butter is melted and all of that. You guys don't know why I would like to change my life to being healthy. Well, my father and all of his family members had diabetes. They all died, basically died from it. Um, I was told that I was pre-diabetic, but I also reversed that by eating healthier. But since I'm doing this channel, I'm about to just <laughs> go back, take a few steps back, and then I'm gonna go forward. But you can always change your life by eating healthy and choosing what you eat. So, oh, just a little extra sauce. This is the for me, all this bad pork. Everything is just bad, but we're not judging. We are not judging. So, I told y'all what happened in 2012. So, I'm going to take you guys back to 2014 when I first moved to Atlanta. I am going to be talking about some of my close friends. I hope y'all don't feel no type of way. All this stuff is in the past. I'm just telling my story. And I have my little book. This is my book where I write down my budget. What bills I got to pay. My mukbang videos are what I want to do. And I wrote down a list of stuff that I need to talk about in this video. So I can get it over with. Also, my mukbang videos are going to be from Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. I'm going to upload every morning. And on Sundays, we're going to have Beyonce's Best, which is going to be something special. Um, I tried to upload my video on Beyonce's birthday, like I told y'all, and YouTube took it down. But I have to change everything to Chipmunk Voices. So I'm going to put the Chipmunk Voices on YouTube. But if you would like to see the unedited version, you can go to my Facebook page and it'll be on there. Also, you can follow me on Instagram, The Real Jerk. Follow Beyonce at The Real Beyonce. 
or whatever. So, come on. Bam. When I first moved, I was supposed to be staying with my best friend and his cousin. He stayed with his cousin. So they stayed all the way out of Riverdale. I only stayed there for three days. Let me tell y'all what happened. His cousin was the trade. Remember when that trade was the trade? And when, me, when I first meet people, I'm not talking to them. Because I'm a cancer, I go back into my shit. I have to figure out who you are before we can start talking. But once you get to know me, I don't stop talking. So I'm in his cousin Trey. I really didn't have nothing to talk about. And I guess he felt some type of way. So then he said he found some lube. Like some little watermelon lube, the flavor lube you get from the little clinics. And his bathroom, but he's like, I gotta go, because he felt like it came from me. First of all, I don't know nobody in this city. Second of all, I've only been in your house for three days. Third of all, I'm not bringing nobody to your house. I don't know what type of hoe you thought I was, but that's not me. I'm not bringing nobody, I don't feel comfortable. And when will I have time? We all, everybody is there. So I wanna go in there. Wind up getting put out. Mind y'all, this time when I moved to Atlanta, I just upped and moved. Didn't have a confirmed job. Didn't have a confirmed savings. I just upped and moved. I'm like, it's going to work out when I get there. So, from then, I went and stayed with my best friend, ex-boyfriend. That was cool. And, um, but then he was slick trying to talk to me. And she, I'm like, no, I don't want to talk to you. You just talk to my best friend. And my best friend already told me how you get down. I'm like, no, we good. So, me staying in his house was cool until one day we went out. We had got a ten dollar bottle of tequila. I'm taking shots. I'm like, I need to get drunk. I get drunk. I black out in the club. He holds my phone. He winds up going through my phone because I didn't have no password. We read old messages of me and my best friend. Talking about my best friend ain't shit. He was talking about him and all this and that. I'm like, we wasn't talking about I'm like, nobody was never talking about you like that. And of course, my best friend is going to talk about you to me. We're best friends. Who else is he going to talk about you to? But y'all not even together anymore. It's not like my best friend was saying, bitch, I'm about to cheat on you. And I'm like, girl, cheat on him. Do what you want to do. It was nothing like that. So then I wound up staying, stopped staying with him. And I went and I stayed with my auntie. But she stayed with two other roommates. And those two other roommates had extra people staying. So with that, it just was a lot. Like I was gone most of the time because I was at work. I finally wound up getting a job. One of my friends got me a job, but the job was like far out. I used to have to like walk a mile to work, but it is what it is because I had to get my money. So I went up staying with her, but then wound up having to leave. She like, it's just too much, all this and that. So then I wound up, I told y'all I wound up staying with this boy. I was talking to our food, Jack. I take all my stuff to his house. I'm trying to catch the bus. I don't know how they buses work. Mind you, the bus dropped me off somewhere at 10 o'clock. The other bus didn't come or something. I had to walk like two hours to his house with my bags in my suitcase. When I say I was over it, I was over it. Then stand there. Like I said, he worked all day. I worked from 9 to 6. I was always late to work. Then I would have nothing to do until he got off. Got off at like 12, 11. I was getting tired of that. God was doing that because I had nowhere else to go. Then, and once it was like, but everybody about to leave, we can get a lease. We can get this apartment. We can just keep this apartment, whatever. So that worked out. And let me tell you about this Labor Day party. This is my first year living in Atlanta. 
I meet some boy from the after hours. He like texting me all this and that. I'm like, okay. I go to his house. His friends there. Everybody there. Do y'all know that these people try to run a choo choo train on me? And it was just so uncomfortable because I'm there. It's like 15 people there. Everybody look nice. But I'm like, I don't know who y'all think I am. I just got done drinking last night. I don't know if y'all thought somebody came over here prepared. And even if I was prepared, why do y'all think y'all about to run a train on me? And I don't know y'all. Like, I don't know what type of whore you think I am. But it was not giving that. So, that was three things. Boom, boom, boom. Also, before I started moving with my auntie, it was a boy named Maurice. I used to talk to him. Me and Maurice supposed to be staying together. But Maurice going to get a job. Maurice still wants to do him. It was just a mess. I applied for these apartments. The gay apartments in Buckhead. I forgot the name of them. She basically took my money. Because I'm like, girl, I just started working. So my checks, it's not like my real checks. They just like orientation checks. She's like, it's cool. Come to find out. She's like, yeah. They said you ain't making money. I'm like, yeah, because I don't, there's not no money on these checks. Like, you don't need to work till I start working. So, I don't know. I'm going to stay with mine until we get an apartment. Yeah. Things cool. I wound up getting me a man. I'm after that. He was a scammer. He was a toys. He was the only people I talked to for some reason. And they all do the same thing and they all be making me mad. So, I brought my friend. I told my friend, come stay with me because my friend, she was like, I'm about to move to London. I'm like, you can come stay with me. This lease going to be up. We can find this apartment. When the lease was up, we couldn't find us an apartment. My friend wound up staying at a boarding house all the way in Riverdale. I wound up going to the boarding house. It was like three hours for me to get to work, for us to get to work because we had the same job. Then we wound up finding an apartment and wound up moving there. But then the apartment was so far from our house. So mind y'all, let me just tell y'all this story. So, my ex boyfriend was a scammer, right? But I used to be nervous. I'm like, mm mm. So, one day we're leaving out to go to work, and it's police, like SWAT, it's all type of people downstairs. So, I'm like, shit, they about to get down. I'm like, I don't know nothing. I'm very much Phaedra Park. I don't know nothing. I don't know nothing. <laughs> so, I'm thinking they finna get us, and they coming to get some illegal. Immigrants. When I tell you, I, it, it's funny because when I say my boyfriend was like scamming, my ex boyfriend, he was scamming. Like, he was scamming rentals. I don't know what all he was doing, but I know he had money and his licks was hidden. Like, they were hidden. Then I told y'all about the time, how we broke up. Mind you, I still was dealing with him off and on. Even though he had another boyfriend. But I felt like we were still talking and you just came up in the picture. Like, girl, no. At the end of the day, he still want to talk to me. I still want to talk to him. It was just a fool. We went together, but like the relationship lasted over two years of just the back and forth, hanging out, having sex. Just, just dumb. So. I said, yeah. And I ain't have no piece of contents to it. Which I'm sure most of y'all have. This was it. This whole pizza was $9. I got pepperoni, sausage, bacon, ham.
Von allen Wives. My list come up. My list. I start talking to him. My list get up. I wind up talking to this boy. This boy. I told y'all. I treat him like he's my man. I listen to him. If he see this video, then he gonna find out the truth. One day he came over. I'm like, don't come over. He came over. Why I had my ex boyfriend come over? <laughs> and I just left him outside because I told him, y'all gonna think I'm mean. Y'all gonna think I'm. I was wrong. But I told him, do not come over. He like, why? And I was just now I'm like, I gotta go to work in the morning. I just now. He come over. He banging on the door. And my ex boyfriend was like, somebody at your door. I'm like, don't worry about it. Just go back to sleep. I'm like, this is going to be a mess. This boy that came over here caught the last bus. All uh, this and that. He wound up getting a ride. I ain't never tell him that I had somebody over. But once again, I was not in the relationship. And I told him not to come over. So me and him wound up. We were talking for a good few months. We wound up start talking. My lease go up. My lease went, went up. I don't understand with my best friend cousin. Mind you, I just stay with all my best friends. Resources. You know, I'm gonna stay with my friends. So I'm gonna get fired from my job for attendance. But when I got fired, I was happy because I hated that job. You know, I'm thinking I'm finna get unemployment. I'm finna get a new job soon. It took me like almost three months to get a job. Because everybody was playing me. Like all the jobs was just playing games. Like so I'm on the stand with my friend. But she stayed in Woodstock. I think that's the area. She stayed far. I wanted to stop staying with her and stay with my best friend, Kayla. You know how you go over there for a week and I wanted to stand over there? Then when they leave us up, we wound up getting us our own place in Stone Mountain. Then that's when me and the boy, the little bottom boy, we started back talking. And then that's when he was like a whole different person. And then we stopped talking. We're like, it's not working right now. So I'm just doing me, y'all. Uh, I'm getting my life together. Got my license. I'm improving my credit score. Got me a new car. He comes back in my life. And the gates of hell open. Oh, it talks about it. Boom. So, the gates of hell open. He gets to, I let him use my car to go out one night. I get woken up to find out that somebody hit him. Told him my car. And a lot of people don't even know this because I never told nobody. People probably thought my car just was repossessed or I didn't pay for it. Or something like that. No, I had a job. My car got towed bad. I wonder if I can insert a picture right here. So y'all can see how bad the car was. He didn't get nothing but a scratch. So then I was out of car. So when... My car got told. I wasn't really upset. I was mad that I didn't have a car, but I was happy that he was okay. I'm going through his phone. Because I'm just like, go through it. He sent a nudes to his ex boyfriend. He having people come meet him. All this and that. So me and him get into it. And I'm like, Oh, this what you want to do? My job, I've done this with the last person. I've done this with a lot of people. And with my relationship before then, I was like, I allowed him to do so much. 
I'm not doing this again. But with this person, I feel like I hurt his little feelings. I'm trying to get him everything. And he ain't doing nothing but like saying F me. And I'm like, well, I deserve it because I did him wrong. Me mentally telling myself that. Mind you, this man told me that I was not a man because I didn't have a body. And I'm fat, mind you. I told y'all I'm fat. Y'all think I'm not. But mind you, when we first started talking, I always had my little push. He's like, oh, you got a little push, tattoos, beard, all this and that. So I'm like, well, somebody like my body. I know he do. He like, no, you're not a man. You're not, you don't got, uh, you know, I look at you and I don't look like no man. I'm like, first of all, the dudes you talk to, they have a six pack, but do they got a job? Do they got a car? Do they got their own place? Are they asking you, are you hungry? No. But when you said that, kind of like, you know, like just hearing these negative things kind of like just mess with me mentally because I'm like, why somebody who we supposed to have this good connection, we had this good connection, why they like saying this, you know what I'm saying, this type of stuff or whatever. And I'm like taking it in and I'm starting to believe what they're saying. And then, mind you, fast forward, because I can want to open relationship. All right, okay, we can do that. Because emotionally, this is not enough for me. And physically, it's not enough for you. The same stuff that you used to like, you don't like no more. And then he like, no, I don't want to do that because, I don't know, you only doing it for me. All this and that. I'm just not going to do it. We're going to work it out. All this and that. I'm like, okay. Fast forward. Boom. Birthday weekend. We supposed to go to Texas to look at apartments. We wound up being gone. He like, and I cancel my plans with my friends. And we didn't even go and all this and that. Um, so later found out that his plans was a cheat, which he did. And then, once I confronted him about it, we, he wound up going out town that weekend. I checked his stuff. It looks like he's about to get himself ready to cheat again. I'm like, you just got caught cheating. Are you about to cheat again? Yes, me and him was fighting. I tried to kill him. Literally. Tried to kill him. I didn't try to kill him. I just wanted him to know. That's, that's the craziest person. I just want him to know, stop playing with me. Cause I'm sitting up here and I'm trying to give you everything. And you sitting up here taking everything from me. Stop playing with me. So me and him fight. And then I'm like, no, you're not leaving. All this and that. This is a bad trait. When somebody wanna leave, let them. Just let them. Let them leave. It's easier said than done, but let them. So me and him get it together. We work on us. And we wound up fighting because I was actually about to cheat on him. And I never I never cheated on any of my boyfriends. And then I said the thing I thought about myself. I'm like, I'm about to change myself and change what I believe in, what I do. Because I'm trying to get revenge or I'm trying to do me on this person. And it made me mad. I'm like, we about to fight. Because you sitting up here got me one day cheating on you. Because you cheating on me, and that's not who I am, and you just acting the way he act. I'm like, so I didn't cheat on him. I wound up just fighting him. I don't think that's a better solution, but it is the reality. So me and him wound up still sticking it out, and we wound up moving to Dallas. And then I'm going to leave it at that. Now, I will talk about Dallas and all the stuff that happened in Dallas, which is a lot. That's probably going to be a 40-minute video. But y'all, to be honest, I'm trying to make my videos like 15 minutes because I know I'm not popping like that. And then, also... Some of my friends are supporting me, but I don't think they're mukbang, mukbang watchers. 
So I know that I'm just sitting here watching me eat. So I'm gonna try to keep my videos short until I build up my subscribers. Yeah, I do enjoy mukbangs. Mukbangs. And until then, y'all, I'm gonna purchase this two times spicy sauce. Me and my friends supposed to eat it tomorrow. It's supposed to come tomorrow, hopefully. Give me some chicken. And I don't like hot stuff. I love hot stuff, but I don't like hot sauce. So hopefully it don't taste like hot sauce. But I hope you guys enjoyed this, enjoyed this little section of my life. But Dallas is like a lot. It's a lot. I hope I don't have anxiety because of this pizza and all this butter. But thank you guys for watching. Until next time. I don't have people do that. I'm trying to be so cool. It's not that cold, so it's not big. Bye, y'all.